Some of these helmet logos that teams are running right now maybe need a second pass. You see the powerful W on the side of the helmets. They say with angled cuts and bolded lines, it really signifies forward movement and progress. NFL franchises are all about their brands nowadays, as we rank every team's helmet logo from worst to best. Number 32, Washington Commanders. I suppose it shouldn't come as a shock that the Washington Commanders have the worst helmet logo in the NFL. Even with all that practice that they've had rebranding multiple times in recent years, the best they could muster up was a big yellow W in some horrible bland postmodern looking font. Number 31, New York Jets. The New York Jets, another organization that can never seem to get, well, just about anything done right. Well, they also went with a horrendous helmet logo that's supposed to look futuristic, I guess. Having the team name written over a football is boring, and considering the team is Jets, it just seems like a huge waste of potential. Number 30, Cleveland Browns. I mean, what are we doing here, Cleveland? A plain rust-colored helmet was the best you could do? Especially when they have a couple of awesome alternative logos like the Bulldog and the old school elf guy. Number 29, New York Giants. It feels like the Giants helmet logo was an underhanded attempt to try and claim stolen ownership of New York football. Why else would they slap the NY on there instead of something else like, oh, I don't know, maybe the team name? Number 28, Arizona Cardinals. Okay, the Cardinals logo isn't bad. I like that they use the bird itself instead of some boring lettering, but they lose a little bit of credit because the logo fails to differentiate itself from the other Cardinal logos across mainstream sports. I mean, it looks exactly like the bird used by Major League Baseball's Cardinals. Number 27, Jacksonville Jaguars. It might just be because I'm so used to watching Jacksonville lose, but uh, that Jaguar on the side of their helmet just kind of looks like a loser. Also, what's the deal with the green tongue? They are really shoehorning the team's colors in there. Number 26, Houston Texans. The Texans helmet logo isn't terrible. I mean, it does have that tacky early 2000s look, but I like the Lone Star for the eyeball. Really, my main gripe here is that this logo would make a whole lot more sense if they were the Houston Bulls. Number 25, Denver Broncos. The Broncos helmet logo looks like a bizarre horse robot mashup sent from the future to underwhelm. It definitely loses points for the fact it replaced one of the most classic NFL logos. Number 24, Tennessee Titans. I actually kind of like the Titans logo design-wise, and it is loaded with symbolism with the whole sword and shield look that it has going on. Plus, hey, you know, the logo gets bonus points for having the same colors and stars as the Tennessee flag. Number 23, New England Patriots. Personally, I'm partial to the old school Pats logo. I feel like that one is way more representative of the region's vibe. But that being said, the current logo is actually a quality design, which I suppose it should be considering they hired Ken Lowe, a famous graphic designer for the rebrand. Number 22, Carolina Panthers. Now, the Panthers have one of the better logos of the recent expansion teams. They did very well to avoid that sterile, pseudo-futurist look that Jacksonville and Houston went with. The sleek, simplistic Panther also goes extremely well with Carolina's awesome color scheme. Number 21, Miami Dolphins. While the Dolphins logo isn't my favorite, it definitely suits the city of Miami well. The flamboyant orange and teal with the sun wrapped around the sea creature just screams South Beach. At least a family-friendly version of South Beach. Number 20, Seattle Seahawks. I don't know why, but for some reason, I can't shake the feeling that the Seahawk is somehow related to the Bronco on the side of Denver's helmets. Both share that futuristic, almost robotic animal design. And to Seattle's credit, I actually like this design a whole lot more than the Broncos. Number 19, Baltimore Ravens. So first off, the Ravens logo gets some bonus points for having been inspired by the legendary Baltimore writer Edgar Allan Poe. I'm not crazy, however, about the way their attempt at realism came out. The Raven has an almost alien-like beady eyes, and I don't know, it's a little skeevy the way that its feathers flare out. And hey, what's going on with the jagged finish along the backside of the logo? Was this raven decapitated by a jigsaw or something? 
Number 18. Tampa Bay Buccaneers The Buccaneers have a pretty awesome looking design. I mean, the red and pewter, it, ah, perfect. Skull looks fearsome, you get the gist. The problem? Well, if you ask me, their logo's a little bit of a rip off of the Raiders flag. Number 17. San Francisco 49ers the 49ers helmet logo is only saved by it having defied the odds and establishing itself as one of the NFL's most iconic logos. Despite it not really having all that much going on for it in the design department. I mean, it really doesn't get much more boring than slapping an SF in the middle of a red oval and calling it a day. Oh well, too late to change it now. Don't expect San Fran to make improvements anytime soon. Number 16. Buffalo Bills now the Bills have an awesome logo. The Buffalo is clearly charging and ready to do some damage. That's why we haven't seen all that many changes to the logo over the years. I mean, there have only been, what, two logo changes since the mid-1970s? And all they really did was change the coloring and the backdrop. So hey, shout out to Buffalo for not messing with the good thing. Number 15, Minnesota Vikings. The only thing wrong with Minnesota making its helmet logo Viking horns is that the 2D rendering makes it a little bit tough to even tell that they are horns. I'm also not a huge fan of the matte purple that they've turned to in recent years. I know what they're going for with a more modern palette, but still. Nevertheless, a lot of potential here. If Mini can tweak the coloring and maybe make the horns a little more recognizable, you might be looking at a top 5 helmet logo. Number 14. Los Angeles Rams There is something about the Rams logo. I just can't seem to figure out if I like it or I hate it. Perhaps because you can barely even tell what it is with that abstract swirly line design. But you know what? One thing I know for sure is that it looks way better in blue and yellow than it did in blue and white. At least it's an actual reflection of the team's colors like this. Even if it's cut from the same cloth as the indigestibly abstract paintings that became quite the fad during the mid-2000s. Number 13. Green Bay Packers Now in its own way, the Green Bay Packers green and gold is truly one of the most iconic pairings in all of sports, let alone the NFL. Yes, they contrast in an unconventional, borderline ugly way, but when you see them on your screen during a frigid November or December game, man, it just feels like football. After all, they are one of the NFL's crown jewel franchises, and we've seen so many amazing moments take place with that logo dotting the field. And for that, we can overlook the otherwise clunky looking color scheme. Besides, what else would the Packers do? Slap a big wedge of cheese on the side of their helmet? No, I don't think so. Number 12, Chicago Bears. Although the Bears are missing out on a great opportunity to feature a fearsome bear like they briefly experimented with in the early 90s, Chicago has to get some credit for having one of the most classic logos out there. It kind of has that reliable feel to it. Not going to blow you away with glitch and glam, but it deserves its shine nonetheless. Besides, when I think about Chicago in the winter, that football-loving fan base and the traditional bear style of ground-and-pound defensive football, that reductionist C just kind of makes sense. Number 11. Dallas Cowboys Dallas has one of the most iconic logos in pro sports, let alone the NFL. There is, there's no denying that. It's, it's a classic. And you know what? It still holds up against the test of time. Number 10. Las Vegas Raiders the Raider in silver and black. Man, it doesn't get much better than that. Like the Dallas Star, the Raiders have one of the most recognizable logos out there. In fact, it probably would have been a little bit higher on this list if the team hadn't been ripped out of Oakland. He wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. The logo has lost some of its luster without regularly seeing the psycho black hole fans wearing it on Sunday morning cutaways. Number 9. Atlanta Falcons while the Broncos' futuristic horse leaves much to be desired, Atlanta nailed it with their logo design. The Falcon looks fierce, intense, and powerful. Now, if only the team could match that energy on the field more often. Number 8. Los Angeles Chargers Almost every iteration of the Chargers logo that has ever been done has been awesome. And their most recent is no exception. The baby blue and yellow, phenomenal. And the crisp lightning bolt stretching down the side of the helmet, oh, truly one of the best designs out there. Number 7. Pittsburgh Steelers 
There may be no NFL helmet logo that is more closely tied to the culture of the city than the Steelers. It pays homage to the industry that built the city and the team's fans love it. Perhaps in part because of how much success the team has historically had with it on. The Steelers logo is definitely on the short list for never ever going to change ever. Number 6. New Orleans Saints the Saint featuring the Fleur de Lis is one of the most interesting helmet logos in the game. It is a strong reference to the city, and frankly, something about it has that unmistakable cool factor. And, you know, it fits in with the black and gold brilliantly. Number 5. Detroit Lions Between the strong design and the color scheme, the Lions have one of the best logos in the entire league. That silver and blue? work. It's just such a shame that the team hasn't done right by the logo. Number 4. Indianapolis Colts The horseshoe is one of the most iconic logos in the NFL. There is no debating it. I suppose it helps the cool factor when you have Peyton Manning lighting up opposing defenses with the horseshoe on his helmet for 15 some odd years, but nevertheless, the logo is strong enough even on its own. Number 3. Cincinnati Bengals the Bengals stripes are one of the most unique helmet designs in the game, and if you ask me, one of the very best. Not only does Cincy get credit for being creative, but they also did a great job of making sure that it didn't come out tacky or goofy. Number 2. Philadelphia Eagles Philly is a tough place to play. It's a blue-collar city with extremely demanding fans. But at least if you sign on to play for the Eagles, you know that you'll do so while rocking one of the coolest helmets in the NFL. It is subtle, really not overdone at all. Just a nice shade of green with two pristine wings running down the side of it. Simple concept, perfect execution. Number 1. Kansas City Chiefs the Chiefs logo is awesome, plain and simple. The arrowhead goes perfectly with the team's color scheme, and it has excellent synergy with Arrowhead Stadium. Plus, Kansas City has to get extra credit for being one of the few teams named after Native American culture that didn't make an offensive cartoon of the people in the process. But which NFL helmet logo is your absolute favorite? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time.